really sad about that, so. Tell me real fast, um, so Barry, because schnauzers I have not witnessed yet, like my ship do, right? Right. Um, heart disease, perhaps trachea, right. all that stuff. Now Barry, as a schnauzer, what does he have? Somewhat of the same thing, large really? heart. Yeah. So, um, so I had a client with a, a Duke, mm -hmm. and he was a schnauzer, enlarged heart, right. and he went fast. Um, but your baby, Barry, has had the large heart for how long? Just recently. Oh. So it's just so it's just started. So because so, we had a shit too. Have we missed two grooms so far with Barry? No, no I, I'm getting mixed no. up. There's another no. client too. It's kind of going through. We were here in too. May. For Barry? Yeah. Oh, for both. May with both of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I re yep. read the file. So yep. I said, we last time we drew him was May. Yep. So the, Okay, so Barry came in at that time. Yes. And we did, did you do trade off? Did no. You, you brought both and he No, out? I brought one and then a week later I brought Oh, okay, great. Because okay. he's the one that went down. He's the one that. He, so you both of them went downhill. He's okay. Okay. He, he just, the one time he went to the groomers. 15? We have no idea because okay. he's a rusty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably in the, you know, he still has well, a lot of energy. we have a seizure here, so. No, yeah. no. But you never know, it can always be triggered by right. stress and. Right, yeah, put him in a cage, mm -hmm. and that's why, mm -hmm. you know, we're coming to you okay. versus, you know, right. having him sit in a cage Absolutely. for two hours before Absolutely. he. So. Absolutely. And he does have a skin tag, so. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. I can't remember stuff like that. My okay. Suey has not seen all. Wow. Well. I mean, they just kept coming and coming. Now we had a Shih Tzu that had an enlarged heart, and da her name was Daisy. Um, and over about a year and a half, you know, we finally oh. had to say, you know, that was. I and we came down. We were we were talking to the vet. And he said it's about time we can. And my daughter came down one morning, and she was laying on the kitchen yep. floor. Yep. Yep. We were already gone. Yep. Oh gosh. So, we we're on our own. Well, all right. We'll do everything off. Yeah. Same thing? Yes. Because I mean, yeah. four months yeah. Yep. Okay, Come perfect. Come on, I got you. Come on. <laughs> you don't want to go. Come on. Hey, Come Bentley. Dad's yeah, going to walk you back with me. Okay? Come on, Bentley. It's okay, Bentley. I got you right here. Okay. Does he also have some heart disease issues? Do you None know? that we know of. Because that coughing thing is kind of a, a It's sign. brand new. It's no, brand it's, just, it's just today. Oh, it's just today. Okay. All right, we've got you up here now. So, Dad, I'll talk to you as soon as we're he, done. He got out of the car and he just started sneezing. I don't know what. Okay. I don't know if it was it could the be. perfume that was in my daughter's car. <laughs> so. Maybe hey. I'm laughing, but that may be. But also, they're down on the ground, so they're they're absolutely you know sniffing stuff that we're not. His hair grows so fast. Does it? Watch the cords now, and uh, say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. So we'll be grooming right now. Uh, what was what was the the address for this four. on YouTube? Because my um, daughter wanted to so watch. So go, you go, are you on YouTube? Not yet. No, i got to send it to her. Okay. So you're going to do my favorite, oh, sorry. You're going to do YouTube.com slash my favorite groomer. And then right now it's live. So she okay. can go hit the, she'll see the little window and there will be a lot, little green live button. Slash. So YouTube.com slash my favorite groomer. cleaned up you are really hairy man and he just i mean it's only been three months I know. Have you, do you feel the same way like he's really heavy like it's heavy on him do you, oh yeah do you, yeah because yeah. it's th his is thick it's yeah. you know some of the dogs we've had it's very thin right. and and right. with him it's, really it's just heavy, thick. right yeah. and then we you want a shave down yeah yeah because it's hot you know the next four weeks are going to be 100 degrees yeah that's texas for us right so, and he loves to lay on the cold floors, so. Well, tell your daughter to subscribe. Hit the he's, subscribe he's, button. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to get started. Uh, do you need to hang out? Or? No, no, I just, oh. I'll stand back and watch. Okay. That or you can have a seat back okay. there. Um, and now I'm, I'm going to go. I just want to make sure here. he's comfortable. Oh, yeah. Was he aggressive? He wasn't aggressive. No, right? not at all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're, no. you're making me nervous. I was thinking, am I, no. I, no, nervous in that I may have forgotten that he's aggressive. No, no <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't do anything with Oh, good, great. I didn't think so. I didn't write any notes like that anyway. 
So YouTube is listening. What's up, you guys? You guys have been there for a minute. So how's it going out there? Good job. Okay, hold on, buddy. This this blade is out of there. Here, we're gonna do tin all over. You wanna do tin all over? Dad wants to shave you down, babies. Woohoo! What's up? Good morning. You guys ready to watch me shave this dog down? I know you guys are like. Yep, we do. We're going to shave a lot of dogs down. That's what we do down here in Texas. Okay, here we go. Let me get my mask on here. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, yeah, you're so cute. So there's my, get, my, my gals and guys. Gotcha. So Suey, look at him. Look how similar yep. he is here. Suey and Duke were brothers. Suey had a heart attack in my arms uh -oh. when he went. And let me tell you, the most devastating thing is losing your fur babies yep. because the color for when looking at this, size is a little larger, but color. That's him. That's Suey. The, the ears and everything back here. Got him in Germany. Wow. And I was stationed over there. Yeah, these skin tags, you know, like I call them moles. I have never studied them or anything, but I've seen them all my career. Mm -hmm. And you've got these ones that, what do they, you know, they bleed. Right. They bleed all the time, right? They just seep a little bit of this fluid and blood and and get this crusty stuff all over it. And I see them on many, many senior pets. And some parents are like, oh my gosh, what is this? You know, and they're all, it's new. Right. <laughs> and it is new. As we get older, we start having these lumps and bumps and... It, unfortunately, on the dogs, they actually seep stuff out of them, so that makes you a little concerned. Well, the vet said that you know even if they cut them off, they still grow back. Yep, yep. I used so. to have them removed. Like I used to have masses removed because I worked at a veterinarian, and you know, I talk about it all the time. And I'm like, they came back twofold. Mm -hmm. So the third removal, I said, we're not doing that again. I mean, that's just too many surgeries, and they're they're popping up uncontrollably. Uh, you can't do it, you know, you can't keep up. So what are you going to have, 30, 20, 30 surgeries a year? No. No, no, I, I wouldn't. And I say surgery as in putting yourself under anesthesia. You don't want to do that. Everything, and I don't want to tell you what to do. But if you if he was on a little bit of a weight loss program, I think that would help his heart. Yeah. And a little bit of everything, just like it would us, you know. And I'm not perfect either, but get him on a little bit of diet if you can. It will really help him. Uh, get around, and then also the weight on his heart. If he is doing a little bit of this and that, you know. Take all this off anyway, right? Yeah. Just get in there, Dee. <laughs> so, Dad's listening. You guys have anything nice you want to say? <laughs> when I get done, he'll look a whole lot cuter, won't he? <laughs> After about three or four weeks, you know, with that puppy cut where the hair grows out just a little bit, then he's just it's perfect for a minute, yeah. right? Yeah. And unfortunately, but keeping it right there is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not, it's not impossible. It's like coming weekly then. Right. I met a groomer, right? We, we met a groomer in Hawaii that they come weekly. Wow. Would you come weekly? No. Could you no. come weekly? No. I told them, I said, I don't know how I would get people to come weekly. They think I'm crazy. I mean, they already think I'm crazy, right? They already think I'm crazy. I'm like, we're booking you for the year if you come in. I mean, there's no options anymore. So she doesn't take on new clients and they come in weekly. Wow. I mean, there are a few that come in like every two, three months like that, but most clients, and I said, no wonder they look amazing. All, you're touching them every week. Yeah. If they grow out a little bit, you're just up, up keeping them.
but I think it also comes down to how you run your business. So if you only take clients that book weekly, those are the only clients you're gonna have, right? Yep. If you want to let people just come in, come in, walk in, yeah. walk in, that's what you're gonna, that's what you're gonna have. You only need twenty or thirty of those, and you're done. Yeah, yeah. For the week. Oh, I got this. There's not even a camera on this one. May I see this? Let me see. You're licking your chops. Why? Why are you licking your chops? How many of you guys have a Shih Tzu out there? You guys have any Shih Tzus out there? Kathleen Durr, what's up? Thank you. How many Shih Tzu owners are watching? How many senior Shih Tzu owners are we watching? Okay, we'll get the uh, dog upstand here to help him stand up in a second. Looks like I'm buffering. I started wearing gloves, Angela, and I should have been wearing gloves a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't do that. Now I feel like uh, I can contain the dr uh, drugs, the, the contain the germs and also stop um, the many splinters that I'm getting that I'm having to literally dig out. Splinters of hair. And uh, we have a splinter video coming, just wait for it, it's gonna be really gross. I had a splinter in my finger and I still do, I think I have about four to dig out still that's been in my finger for over six months. And I can't even feel it, but I know it's there because every now and then I do feel it. Every now and then I get a little bump and I feel like, oh, it's a singing and I know there's a splinter way deep in my hand. So the other day I said, look, I'm done. I have got to get gloves. And I have gloves, but these are just not the right ones for grooming because they make your hands sweat. So I need to get like the black ones, you know, I think that those are gonna be the type. The challenge is to stand up, buddy. Um, let me try this dog up mini here. So we have to stand up or I can't groom out your bum. Okay. And here, no, no, we're not going anywhere. Stand. Uh, if you don't want to stand there, you don't have to. No, I'm fine. Okay. He's the anti-berry. He's on one side of the spectrum, bears on the other side when it comes to grooming. Absolutely. Completely different animals. What's it go ahead and tell YouTube since you're there, uh, what's the story behind how you rescued uh, Bentley here? 
Uh, Tell Bentley came you. through yep. the Suzu Rescue, North Texas, and uh, he and another Shih Tzu were out on the streets of Garland, and they were dumpster diving. And he was taking care of the little girl. Um, she was adopted. She ended up being adopted by somebody else, and they moved to South Carolina. And then uh, we ended up with Bentley through the, the rescue service. But uh, they think he was out on the streets for probably three, four, five months by himself with the with the little one. So. Really? So that uh, that uh, person or who who uh, whoever dumped him just dumped both of them. So. We have no idea how old he is. Do you, uh, would you say, that? could you remember, did you ever see the female? Yes, well, my wife did. I've seen pictures of her. Her name is Gracie. Were they uh, related? Do they look related? Uh, they could be. They could be. And how old do you think they were at that time? Uh, what was the estimate? One? We've had... We've had Bentley for three or four years, four years. Right now you've had him for four years? So he was so probably he was older. 10. Yeah, he's, yeah. Probably, he's probably 14, 13, 14, 15, now? somewhere in there. Uh -huh. But he still, I mean, he still runs in the backyard and chases balls and... You still run around like a young man? Huh? Well, Barry keeps him young. Really? Even though Barry, Barry is, Barry's, Going on 12, 13. Mm -hmm. He still has a lot of energy in him. You guys hearing all this? Because I'm seeing a buffering here, so I'm not sure if uh, you guys are getting everything. Just want to make sure. I've got buffering, but if you guys are good, we're good. Let me hit live here. Maybe that'll help. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'm not buffering. Great. 45 likes, 254 more like. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Bentley. Thank you for that. Let me move that out of the way. Let me put that in there anyway, man. Is your daughter watching right now? She ended up being in a sales meeting. So she's, sales meeting? Yeah. So she's, oh, she's at work right now? Yeah. I was thinking high school or something like no, that. No, she's yeah. at work. <laughs> <clears throat> she's my oldest. Uh, can I ask her age? 26. Okay, okay. Uh, can I ask what kind of sales? She sells outdoor billboards. What? What do you mean, rent those the rental spaces? Yes. Can you get us a hookup? So. Can you give me a hookup? I'll, I'll have Work her contact it. you. Work it. So. Let's get, ben let's get Billy up there, man. So. <laughs> Shoot, let's get uh, Barry up there is what we need to do. Just for like, I don't know, a week or two. I don't know, you probably, if you're gonna print like that, you probably wanna do 30 days. But. Yeah, uh, but I'll have her come. Yeah, her. do it. Did you guys hear that? Them big billboard signs? What? Me and David have been wanting to do a billboard sign. You don't like it? Okay. I'm gonna come back with a 10 then, because I have a feeling we just need to go short on your face here. Yeah, all this the way is, down on the face. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing over here with the seven. Just. Yeah? Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy, man? He's a hot dog. When? How do you know he's not hot when we get done? Does, do, can you tell he's not oh, yeah. hot? Because I hear people tanning. right now saying, you shave every day. I hear that in my head, right? Well, yeah, well, I know when he's I hot. I know, too. And he goes sprawled eagle on the cold floor. Okay. On the, on the ceramic tile that we've got. So is he more rambunctious after a haircut, like outside? He's oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mine were. He and Barry would be are. outside rolling around at the rest of the afternoon. Right, right. Of course, it would be too hot, but if it were cooler outside, they'd be outside a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you have a doggy door? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You can't live without those, man. Those are... Yeah, our backyard are... is, uh, from the back porch, it's 120 feet to the back, and then it's 100 feet wide, so they've okay. got 12,000 feet of grass. Wow. Wow. You don't like that? Let me do it over here. Let me do this ear too then. I'll do the ear first. Thanks, Susie.
You get on your chin chin. Yeah? You get on your chin there, buddy. His eyebrows, he's, he gets a... We try and clean those things as much as we can. But what, the eye boogers? Yeah, or? well, yeah, he's got one on the left. He wouldn't let me get it, and I couldn't get it. May I? Don't get upset. Don't get upset here. You hardly have a snout, man. Oh, they're pretty bad in there, too. I'm just gonna come down here first, and then we'll wash we'll wash it all out first to come back. I know, buddy. I know it. He's just I know, stubborn. Buddy. He's not he's not aggressive, but he's just stubborn. I just don't want to make him have a seizure either, frustration. Okay, that's not gonna work, buddy. You want me to hold it? Uh, not yet. Okay. I'm gonna come back to it. Hey, behave. Are you proud? You got me to get off of you? Did you get me to stop? Hmm? You don't like that. Okay. We'll, we'll let Dad come here in a minute. Don't worry. Go down your feet now for a minute. How about that? Chair everywhere, buddy. Tail too, Dad. It's amazing how much hair they end up with. I'm not even done, months. man. I'll take the tail down too. Please. As you can see, in three months, he's yep. a lot of hair. <laughs> Absolutely. Let me come back now and do uh, your feet and stuff. I mean, what do you think about that, huh? Get your 40 blade here and do your feet. smashing the like button out there you guys hit subscribe hit share come back you got to close the live feed to see that uh -uh. let me see got this monkey cord on is not gonna let you keep it tangled you know those barbers how they tangled their stuff is not gonna let you do that or like Makio she has it in all her RV <laughs> all the cords in her RV that's pretty cool right what side of town do you guys live on oh, Cal Cal Colleyville. Colleyville that's right that's right Oh, man, it's gorgeous over there. <clears throat> One of his nails might be on his, I don't remember which paw it was on the front. The, the one nail that's up above his paw, mm -hmm. uh, he got it wrapped in my daughter's necklace. He was laying with her. Oh, yeah. And her, neck, her necklace got wrapped in there. Did it get jerked off or did the nail no, break? No, but... He was struggling with it. Then mm -hmm. my she wife had to hold. Too. <laughs> my wife had to, because it was it was right up against her neck, oh, and my wife had to hold him, and I had to slowly get it off of him. 
it took us about two or three minutes to yeah. unbind it. Some, some dogs don't do that. They would have so, just... Oh, yeah. And they would have ripped out his nails. That so. just rip that, rip that, you know, necklace. So it may be a little tender up there. You got it. I swear I look like a surgeon, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we go to the bath, I'll put the apron on. I, I really look like... Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I don't know. I really look like something's really going down. You don't like that? Okay. I got a different hold I can do on you. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're still going to get her done. Okay? I've got to trim the nails. Okay? You still trying to get away from me? There's not very far you can go. Standing up would really help. Remember I told you guys, train your dogs to stand. It will definitely help the groomer and the veterinarian and the vet tech. All right, buddy, you have to stand up. Now, so you can't get out of this one. You can bite my arm, but we have to get her done. Nope, nope. Look how long these are. Nope, nope, nope. You're okay. And you just did them. I mean,. Well, if they're it's really long, his, every nail is different. So if his are curling like this, you might find you need to do an extra run okay. on the nail alone. Okay. Uh-uh. No. Like, your hair grows different than mine. So you might need a haircut before right. I do. Like, I, I'm really overdue right now. But it's the same thing. I woke up this morning and was standing straight up. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. 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 Nope. nope. I'll get the cone head out. That's what I'll do over right here. You are welcome to step in if you feel like you can help. Because he's your baby. Hey. Nope. Hey. Nope. Hey. Calm down. Nope. I got you. I got you. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know why. They're pretty long, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Okay, buddy. You gotta let me get in there. See how long they are. Yeah. Sure. You don't poo. I can smell this. I can smell the gas. Yeah. You poo, your dad's gonna have to clean it all up. Well, you know, I know he doesn't want to do that. Belly, chill, chill. Belly. Hey. At least you know hey. what hey. to do because it buried. Hey. <laughs> you got good training. You're buried, okay. Right? You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Look at the vein. You see, I'm yep. hitting veins right there. Yeah. So, like, if I can't get it down further, then you know that you might have to do right. it, right? You understand? Yeah. Because in a week or two, it's going to be all the way out again. See, we're in the vein on yep. that one. But any further, I'm going to hit the vein, so. Got some gas, dude. I just want to look at this point and make sure I got that. This detail here as far as back as I can. Calm down. So, did he eat this morning? No. Okay. We feed him at night. We feed him at Okay. Five I'm going to trade you sides. How about that? No, they get fed at 5 o'clock every night. Yeah. Okay. Just once a day? Yeah. Okay. On the weekends, it, just like our metabolism, if you are home on the weekends, do mm -hmm. it twice a day. Okay. So their body isn't storing okay. everything all day. Maybe that's just what okay. this is, you know. Where he's storing My, up. Yeah, well, absolutely. They have, they have, they, that's just wet food. They have dry food down all the time. Let me do the back ones. Hey. Oh, they have, okay. Yeah, this hey. Hey. really long. Chill. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't do it. Oh. That's okay. Just hold tight. He's going to come out of the groom loop, which is fine, since you're there. Breathe, Bentley. You gotta breathe. 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 Bentley, stop. He wasn't breathe. This difficult. No, nope, he wasn't. Breathe. Breathe. You're okay, buddy. Hey, hey. 
Okay. This is not even there, so okay. everyone out there watching, okay. judging. Oh. Wow, he wasn't like this. I don't know what happened. Oh. Oh. Just had a bad move. It could be. Or they're really long, oh. you know. I oh. can't oh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, buddy, breathe, buddy. Oh. I know you don't like it. Okay. Stanley. Still blue. Man, he is fighting today. Bep, 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 bep. Good. Stay there. See? Hey, that was disappointing. Woo! Okay. All right, let me take him and go to the tub. We'll be right back. We'll go to intermission for a moment, folks. See you in a second. Cleaning his face, this, 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 this flea cone is amazing, and water. Okay. It has to be, you can see how wet I'm making it. It has to be really wet. Like this one right here, there's one in there that's yep. really bad. I'm not going to be able to, that's not going to come out. Yeah, water. I've got to shake that. But I've got to get it away from his eyeball skin, right. or it could be dangerous. Touch his feet. And it's over. 
Almost done. We'll be right with you. Let me clean this table off. I'm looking around. I can still smell that gas out here. I'm looking around like, is he poo? I didn't see any poo. Uh -oh. Yeah, I didn't see him, but I can still smell it out here. Oh, God, oh, man. Oh, on. Let me get some of this pet stuff out here. I'm going to have to spray my table with this. <laughs> get some of that, okay? <laughs> Oh gosh, Dad's laughing over here. Did you shake off for me a little bit, buddy? Did you shake off? No, they get dry. They have dry food down 24/7. Do they? Yeah. So do they eat that 24/7? Yeah. No, they just. Is that we'll see that is that the culprit? You so, see what I'm saying? Right. Like, um, I don't do that. I used to. So. Now I had to go. Well, you're having chicken issues. You're having. A overeating and you want to eat everybody's food. Right. So I feed them all in the kennel twice a day. Like they have to go in the kennel they to eat. eat. In a, in a you know what I'm saying? Family, maybe, or, probably or, not even a, a four ounce cup every day between the two sure? of them. Yeah, because we only fill it up, I only fill the bowl up once every, once a month, once every three weeks. Oh. Like you said, but you're know, feeding them twice a day, and then they get the well, they each get a can at dinner time. So, uh -huh. science diet, he's on the weight science diet. Okay, I'm just, you're gonna dry in a few minutes, so I'm just gonna let you air dry. Okay, come here. Okay, you gotta stand up though. Oh, no, we're not going to stand up today, buddy. I know you're not going to stay stood up. Well, let me get you dried up here. And get those eyes cleaned out more, okay? Shave your face more. What's up, just another person? <laughs> oh, my goodness. How are you guys doing out there? Good morning. Yeah, Kathleen Durer lost her puppy a few days ago. Maybe, what, five, six days ago, Kathleen? I had another client yesterday, a longtime friend of mine. I, I used to groom her pet every two weeks, and uh, her pet passed away yesterday as well. Michelle, if you're out there. 
It's one of those, you get the text message, you jump in the truck, and I just started bawling. Just bawling. If I just had one more, one more chance to give her a hug. A couple weeks ago, Barkley, the brown poodle, we're going to do a, a video on him. Uh, he passed away. He actually got attacked in Keller mm. by a wolf in his front yard. Mm. Uh, they imme immediately went to the emergency room. Um, a few days later, he didn't make it, didn't recover. Mm. You guys know Barkley. When you're grooming these senior dogs, I tell you what, and even that wolf, I mean, he was, a, Barkley was a senior poodle too. I groomed him almost his whole life. He's 11 or 12. Mm. It's, uh, your groomers love you. You guys call your groomer, give us a chance to say goodbye, man. I would have definitely showed up. I, did, I thought Barkley was gonna pull through. He had the surgery and everything, but I think uh, when a wolf takes hold of your dog and shakes him and does, does all these things, there's internal trauma you can't x-ray and see. Like, brain damage and see, you know things that are just, mm -hmm. they're ready to kill and eat your dog, so it's over. <laughs> and I learned a lot right there, and uh, tears there too, man. Mm. You get so connected, you see someone for 12 years. Oh, yeah. You know like what pisses them off, it's like a relationship. You're like, I know if I do that, you're gonna try to bite me, you know? <laughs> you know what pisses them off. You get to know these dogs so well, and, and when you have to say goodbye, or especially if you're doing what I'm doing, which you're grooming these senior dogs, you say goodbye a lot. It's heartbreaking. That's really heartbreaking. Stretch it out. There you go, buddy. You don't want to look at me? <laughs> okay, well, as long as you let me do it, we're good. I'm just going to let you sit down here. Um, we'll come back to it, I guess. Oh, see, I didn't put new gloves on. I'm telling you, this new habit is really hard. I gotta have the gloves over here by my table here. Okay, can you stand up for me? Get up in there, yeah. And now you're gonna sit down and try to clean yourself up. May I? How is it to watch, Dad? It's good. How you feel? Happy? I'm fine. Good. Yeah. Well, and I think enjoying he feels, it. I think he feels better too. Just Instead of being in a cage and locked up mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. two or three hours at a time. What's the longest time you had him groomed and where you know he was like, uh, it took a long, like, oh, work. Yeah, when What's we're the longest at work time? or somebody can't pick him up, yeah, they're there for seven, eight hours. Are you serious? So, yeah. Would you say uh, that? Because you got to drop him off by, you know, eight or nine, and then, you know, if, we're at work, if, if everybody's at work or school and we can't get back until three or four, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. On a business side, since you're here, I'll just talk, just chat, chat with you. On a business side, if a groomer, not me, if another groomer that was grooming, drop off 10 dogs at seven mm -hmm. and pick up as straggle, right? right. Uh, would it be wise for her to charge a little extra and do one at a time? Should be, yeah. yes. Because charging extra yeah. would be okay, oh, right? Absolutely, because then now you know how long it's gonna take. You know, you can spend an hour versus, you know. But I don't think you could do it for the same price, is what I mean. No, as no, a, for, no, no, So as a no. business, to think Absolutely. business for a minute, if you're a groomer out there and you wanna change the way you do business, because I think there's a need for it. Well, and you also hear nothing against you, or, or the, but you hear bad situations where how the groomers treat 
the dog. So okay. For using like, give Barry, me an example. For an, Barry yep. for an example. Okay, so, Barry the schnauzer that you have that's Barry, aggressive. Barry had been, we've had him since a puppy, and he's been groomed four, four times a year. So all of a sudden now he gets bounced from Petco, he gets bounced from PetSmart, he gets bounced from a local groomer in you know, Collieville. When you say bounce, it means no, don't come back. Don't come back. Yeah. So. You know, all these if, places that you went. If we were there, you know, we could have seen or, you know, What's what happened. What's Right. That and, or. And made a change. Okay. Before he got really aggressive. Right. But you it, will never know now, because right? Because it took us eight months to find you. Wow. Seven, eight months after then, his last grooming, and they okay. told us don't come back to find you. And we but that groomer who, didn't refer you. No, no one referred no. you. Uh, now the vet, uh, uh, Boulevard Animal Hospital in Colleyville referred us to you. Wow. And so you know what I started doing? I was, um, I don't, you know, I was doing something that was pretty costly to me. No. But I was getting no benefit in my mind. And I just hoped that they would listen or somebody, you know, that front mm -hmm. line, right. that re reception. Right. Because they're the one that get the mail, right? Do you need to take that? No. So the reception lady gets the mail, right? And then they, they go, they look through stuff. And then, because I worked at a vet, so I kind of understand what's happening here. Uh, the reception lady gets the mail in most cases. Some, sometimes a veterinarian is a husband and wife. So mm -hmm. maybe sometimes your vet tech or your reception is the wife, right? Or the husband. Um, and they may go, I'm not going to refer to this lady. Mm -hmm. I've seen her. I don't like her. Throw, throw my card in the trash. But for years, I would send a postcard. Like, so your veterinarian got a postcard mm -hmm. from me. It says, hey, we have the same client. Right. And this is why I grew his aggressive dog. Send me more. Right. They've ne they may have never even sent me one, mm -hmm. but I'm like, hey, right. we have the same person. At least they're aware of you. Yeah, this is what I do. And on that postcard says, I groom aggressive dogs. And so many groomers, I have had some groomers refer, don't get me wrong, but I have had way more veterinarians refer than mm -hmm. groomers. So if you don't talk to your, your veterinarian, here in Texas anyway, right. and I have sent, a, I have sent a flyers to a New York groomers or mm -hmm. veterinarians, like people that travel, and I have sent those wow. to them. But that's probably how they found out about me was that postcard. And right. that postcard wasn't once. I, right. I would do it every client. Well, and, the, and then they, they understand. They start to learn. Right. But you hope that they don't do what right. I said, which is, I'm not getting, who cares? Or they don't even look at it or read it, and they just trash it. You've got to know, in my opinion, like in my real estate business, i got to know a handful of people that are electricians. i got to know a handful of people that mm -hmm. do concrete. Mm -hmm. i got to be able to refer you to somebody, because when you need help, Yep. You want to know, Didi, trust this guy. I'm going to go ahead and try him out. Get, call him, get a quote, you know. But the same thing should happen with the grooming world. Like, if you can't handle a type of groom, you should know where to send them. Or you should know uh, what veterinarian in, right. is in their budget or right. that can deal with cancer or whatever. You know, things are going to happen that you want to have that referral to. Yeah, like the Eight shots. months it took you. Yeah, the, the shots... You know, when we got Bentley shots, it was $180 to go get shots. You told us to go to a place in in Bedford or Hearst. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was a line. Yes, you had to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. but it was $55. And I told you all that. Yep, it was $55. And, and you then, ended up doing probably because of yeah. hardware tests and everything, yep. not yep. just the VAX. VAX the alone were thing. 25 bucks. Did the whole thing. Right. Now, the VAX, you know. The, the, but that's because you have to go yearly. Right. The rabies was me, a yearly. Yeah, you call me for a um, but they did veterinarian. I got yeah. someone else for it. You know what I mean? If you call me for a so, full-on veterinarian stuff, I would probably I have a referral for you there. Several. But you're right. You know, you got to have that mm -hmm. referral, right? Okay, here we go. So we're almost done. I'm gonna have Dad step in and help with the face in that way. He's usually been pretty good with the face. Again, it was just today was the nails. But nails. I think I'm He's may looking have heard, away a lot, so I'm I may have heard him. him. With the, the when, nails? When, no, when yeah, when she got her necklace caught. Oh. In it. Okay. There was one over here like a fish hook, bro. Uh, was it? Okay. Yeah, the other, the last one I did with the last paw, this one. Uh -huh. Was it this one? It was one of the front, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me come back to your ear here. Yeah, if you, however close you can get the face, it'd be. Yeah, we'll do the face together. So, um, interesting question I'm going to ask you. You would be a great person to answer it. All those eye boogers and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. A groomer comes in, it could be me. Mm -hmm. A groomer comes in, and we shave it out, and we nick all that in there because of the amount that right. we got out. Right. 
what do you think should happen right there? What what should the groomer do? What what are you thinking? What are what is because we didn't do that, right? He didn't get nicked or anything, but nope. remember how thick it was right. back there in the right. bath? Yep. What would be tell me how a groomer should handle it? Same way you just did. I I, I don't know about I mean not the only groomers I've watched is you. So because But if I had nicked his eye oh, because of all the eye boogers that would have been a problem. Right, but whose fault? Because I'm they not were blaming anybody. Well, what, what, how? And I'm just asking your opinion because it didn't happen. Right. So you're thinking like, gosh, man, I, I really need to get in sooner. Right. Or are you thinking anything like that? Or are you saying, dang it, groomer, you should know better. So. What, or no. all of the above, a little bit. All. Tell, tell me what you're thinking because his eyes are really bad. I could see a groomer right. nicking that. Right. What would you tell um, that groomer to do? I tell the, you know, the owners to paint it a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> You know you can eat the and, owner, and you guys. The, and you know, three months was t is. Dad, come here. You're gonna. Sure. You can talk, but just hold here for just me. Just holding. You know, just <clears throat> trying to get him in maybe a couple of weeks earlier. Okay. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> two thumbs on it here. There you go. Perfect. Because here I go. I'm gonna go in. Check my coolant. So this is what we couldn't get out in the tub here. That's why I asked him that question. There was a lot more yeah. that got out, right? Yeah. But when it's caked up on their eyes, it's really hard. Okay. Okay. It was like this last time. I don't know what the deal is. Dad didn't have to hold last time, didn't we? No, nope. I didn't have to hold anything. Is it the water? We've got to change the water, man. So. <laughs> Is it the water? You guys share in the same water? I'm just playing. I've just been hanging around very too much. Exactly. Anything to get Dad to hang out with him the whole hour. Oh, yeah, we're getting all that gunk out of there. That's what I'm talking about. He's just a stubborn little man. At least you're not biting. Yeah, we get all that out of your mouth. Barry's <laughs> even better in his mouth than this one. Look at all that on your nose and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Right? You can't do this one person. It would be he actually did the last time, because I didn't Well, he didn't do it this last time. I don't know if he did. I don't know. Are we having a storm getting, come in today? Just getting Sometimes over. Sometimes that does it. Yeah, you had opened his mouth last time and moved the scissors. He's like, can I get a breath? Go ahead, get a breath. I'm all up in your grill. Hey. Look how half of your face you can breathe now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Tough, huh, Dad? Barry doesn't have no problem with the face. No, Barry's. It's all his feet, huh? It's just, you, you go for the feet, and it's all over with. Bentley, you're going to feel so eyes. much better. Close your eyes, buddy. But your face is as sure as we can possibly do. It's just, today he's just stubborn. No, 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 no. Thank you. Whew, you're giving me a workout. Okay, let's see here. A couple more things here. We're done, okay? A couple more things here. A couple more. A couple more. Don't. Don't do that. Don't. It's pretty good. Can we close it? My hair's not getting his mouth. Do, 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 do. See, the chin rolls up into his mouth. That's yep. what the thing is here. Let me see. 
Okay, that, that, that. Okay, that's not going to work for us. Let me see. That's not going to work. Hey, Bentley. Is there anything I can. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Shh. Hey. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't. Bentley, no. Don't move. No. Don't no. move. It's still going in his mouth. No. It's still in your mouth. It's just a couple here. It's not long and all that, but it's just this, that curly thing there. If you want to grab and just don't let him move yeah. at all, then I'll come in again. Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Just okay. leave the rest Chill. a second. Chill. I'll start calling you Barry Jr. We got to be careful what we, we wish for, though, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Got bad breath, dude. Okay, went ahead and got basically my 40 blade out on the wall bravura. Okay, real real stronghold, Dad. Real stronghold. Mouth closed is fine. Da, 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 da. Okay, here you see here. I might have got some of it already. Da, da, da. Let me see. Let me see. Boy, I think I have to fight. I did get some. Still some there. Bentley. Hey. You look it. If you can live with that, we can do that, but. Okay. Where is it? It's barely anything there. It's um, on his yeah. chin right there. I mean, there's. No, it's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I think that's fine. We can too. just get the. Oh, what? Just on this side. Right, right there. There's a little. Can you get that a little. Just right here. Let me go back to the tin blade here. Just right. You see that? I'm just trying to get as much hair off of his face as... Bentley, dude. Hey. Chop, chop, okay. chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop. No. Don't move. Don't move. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, you are one stubborn dog today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, got the seats, man. Okay, steady. Stay there. Stay there while I get a picture. We're almost done, you guys. We're going to wrap it up here in about five minutes. Bear with me. You okay, Dad? Did you still want me to keep going on the face or something? Mm -hmm. Just looking at that eyebrow. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just... Mm -hmm. It just grows back so Which fast. Which one? I don't know if you can get to it. Just see where it's growing. I don't know if it'll let you. Where are we talking about here? Right through here. The eyelash itself? Yeah. Is, is there any way to get to it? Okay, hold it tight. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. We're not going to do it. Nope, no. Nope. Get it? Yep. Good. Thank you. Oh yeah, much better. Because he sits a lot, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of like lingering. You got scissors just to cut right here. Hey. Um, see right on top. <laughs> there you go. I think it's fun. I know you're going to say something about this here when we stop. So I'm just, it. 
the better his face is, you know, the less issues we have with the crud that's growing out. This an option is to come in face only yeah. in two months, not wait till, you know, Three that's months. another option. So it doesn't get that bad. Right. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay. Because it was pretty bad yeah. today, those crusties are yeah, Usually bad. I can get two, I can get them all off of there, but that last one was. Okay, let me get a picture on that. Because it worked for us today. You got more gas, dude? Yeah, buddy. There you go. Alright, uh, you have a leash there? Yeah. Perfect. How did we do today? Excellent. As always. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We'll go behind it here. Of course, now I gotta tighten it up. Yeah, I would definitely, this is really loose now. <laughs> of all the it was loose it already, was... but you can do that later. Yeah. Yep. Down. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. Watch the cords, Dad. Okay, we'll be right back, you guys.
Okay, you guys. What is going on, man? I don't remember him having some of those. Uh, let me get my orange juice. Got some orange juice this morning. I'm drinking it coming down my face. <laughs> What you guys doing man that was a little exhausting for me just a little bit um i gotta wash my hands and also wear gloves wear gloves you guys you will see when i do the splinter video just how serious i am just done with it no more splinters for me. I'm done. I was crying pulling this splinter out that had gotten so deep into my hand. And we're not talking like when you're a kid and you get that little splinter and you got to dig it out just a little bit. This thing was in there. It was in my hand, deep. And I thought I had gotten some of it a long time ago. So at least six months, it's been in my hand. And every now and then, I would just feel it. Like I would be doing something and I would feel like a pinch in there and I, and there's nothing there. But then finally I recognized some of these bumps that they look like a little round pimple, but it's not, it's, it's actually just regular skin and with a little bump and that, that uh, splinter, the hair isn't even right under it. You, I literally had to get like four tools, scissors, razor blade, all this stuff, two, three different types of tweezers, water, air, to get it out and David's recording and I'm yelling at David oh, it was a bad it was a bad experience. I was like, "Oh, the light. You need a light. I now carry a spotlight, a baby spotlight. So that from you can clamp it onto the table. It's LED. You plug it in and you can literally spotlight yourself. And uh, someone else doesn't have a hold of flashlight. I mean, it is really serious. And I, you guys need to check your fingers. Check Every day, check in between all your nails at the end of the night while you're laying in bed, wherever you need to do this. But I am actually getting old enough to where this year I actually feel like I'm going to need some reading glasses. So I have to do this whole number and just really look inside all between your fingers, okay? And you might be like, holy cow, there's hair in there, like up in that crevice. Like pull that skin away from your nail and like look down in there. You might be like sleeping with this hair. You had no idea. So then you get one of those, which I think I have on my website. You those brushes, shh, brush in the shower, brush real good. And just be aware of this and try to prevent it from happening. Um, I really wonder if I have this one right here I need to dig out. Like, oh my gosh, it's like it's never ending. It's gotten worse too. So, Dee Dee, remember the gloves. Self-talk number one. Where are the gloves, right? Talk, constantly, where are the gloves? And then I put them on the table, like. Hey, hey, what's up? Hello. Filming? Hello. 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 Yeah, and like totally, okay, I know I'm complaining, but wake up. Y'all wake up, man. I'm not kidding. If you just groom one dog, imagine me grooming a lot of dogs and not checking at the end of the night. So, check, okay? Order your gloves from me. They're they're on there. Order some gloves. Wear some gloves. Try, I, I want you to wait until I'm done trying them all out so I can save you money. But I can tell you the ones I'm wearing right now are not ideal. They make my hands sweat. When you go to the bathtub, you, you have to take them off and then you have to put on another set. So you're, now I'm using, what, two gloves per pet? Just sucks. So I'm hoping that I'm going to try some gloves out that can last through the entire bathing process and grooming process, both grooms before and after, of the dog through, so one pair of gloves per dog. Or it's going to be pretty, it's getting costly. It already is costly, but you know what I mean? But it's worth it because digging a splinter out the way I did, I'm going to have to dig about three more out and then I think I'm good. This is my next culprit right here. I don't know if you can kind of see. There's, it's right 
here. It's a, it's a discoloration, actually. It's a round discoloration. There's not even like a bump. It's just a round white discoloration. This is my next culprit. I know I've got to dig that open, and I know way into my finger there's going to be, I already know, because that's what they look like. And it's going to be extremely painful, and I'm probably going to cry, which I did for the other one. It is really, really, look at this one. Look at this thing. This is this black thing right here. This is probably from his eyeball. Look at this. It's just, this job is really dirty. This is a very dirty job. And so why do we not want to make it cleaner if we can? Okay, so try to be clean. It's a very dirty job. It's easy to transpire stuff. Okay. All right, you guys. We are going to close up shop right now. Thanks a lot for being here. So Bentley came through. Dad uh, wanted him, obviously, super duper short. He told me like four times to redo the face, get the eyelash, get this, get that little thing, get all that, all that. He want, I basically wanted to do a 10 reverse, which is almost a 40 blade. You know, but he, his dog's face would not stay still. So it made it really dangerous. One little jab in the eyeball, it's over. So, and scissors? No. I would prefer to use clippers. You saw me go back to the clippers a lot because he's moving his face. You don't want to have jabbing sessions with a pair of scissors, people. So clippers are allowed, but they're safer. They can still do damage. Okay? It's cutting hair. It's going to cut anything in, it, in its way. It's like a lawnmower. Okay? Those of you guys who contributed, thank you so much for your donations. It means a lot to me. It helps support our channel. I could not do this without you and your investment. So I really appreciate you supporting what we do. If you love what I do, you watch what I do, you enjoy me getting live, uh, coming on live and showing you what to do and showing you my life and showing you my work, make sure you support us either by donating, watching, watching the ads, being a part of what we do by contributing in social media and sharing and hashtagging my favorite groomer showing me your pictures write me uh, i'll share your stories and then um shop with us at myfavoritegroomer.com and also pick up like today the mini oh my gosh he sat the whole time pick up the dog up stand pick up the dog up mini pick up the dog up stand large at dogupstand.com thank you so much you guys for being here i really appreciate you we use the andis five speed with a monkey cord on the wire so it wouldn't keep looping on me then we used a 10 blade a lot i think i shuffled through four different 10 blades some were ceramic some were ultra edge ceramic seems to cut a little smoother like butter but it lasts less long than the ultra edge I've had some ultra edges since the beginning of my ever grooming career and some ceramics will have already broken by that time so there is a difference uh, but there is a cutting difference so you got to see what is worth it what's the sacrifice you're willing to do I used the bubble tip barely couldn't really use it couldn't really get in there I, it was I think the anvil bubble tip yeah the anvil bubble tip I carry um, it's a really inexpensive shear, a great starter shear. It's got the bubble tip. I recommend that. It's like a 6 to 6.5 inch, one of the two. There's only one. Let me see. It's the 7.5, actually. But everyone's kind of different. You think that a shear should be measured by the blade. It's not. Sometimes they measure it tip to tip. Tip to tip. Sometimes they measure it like the back of the loop to the tip. Sometimes I've seen them even measure just this part. So it's really hard to go, what size is that? So anywhere between like a 6.5, 6 inch, 7.5, that's kind of a good face shear, especially with the bubble tip, okay? All right, you guys, um, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. We use the nail clippers. We use the dog up mini. We, uh, what else did we use? The end is five speed with a lot of tin blades. I tried the seven blade and we, we just went with the tin blade. The dad really, really wanted really it short. So if you want to pick up your tools, check out myfavoritegroomer.com. I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot for being here. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.